Are we not comrades? Do I not care for you? Do I not eat your fish and swim in your waters? Together game. We can be powerful. We can eat the Gary. Because Gary... Well... Gary knows what he did. Like 50. I like how I made an entire locker full of water and then I just never take any of the water out of it. Like that old RPG syndrome of uh, never using any items that you pick up. Even until the end of the game. It's like, well, well I'm, I might want that. I might need that. Ooh, I think we're about to take... I think we're taking damage now. That's some dehydration. <gasps> oh, fuck. Uh... I'd say... I am playing this blind. I'm not really familiar with what you're talking about, so I would prefer no spoilerinos. Thank you. Really hope that I don't have to go down the continental shelf. That is something that's just very like. Call of the Voidy, it's like, oh, this is terrifying. Alright. Uh, I think we have enough hydration. Our ship should be recharged. And. And. Alright, now we're back into it. Alright, we are heading to. All systems online. Stargate, I think it's SG-2. Yeah, SG-2 is where uh, the Debussy survivors were, I think. That initial settlement. Oh, hell yeah, the best track. Man, I'm just wiggling all over the place. <laughs> I also like how I can do this. You just like launch our ship out of the water. Oh, this is some beautiful water though. That like teal sort of color. Very nice. It's like swimming in the, what is it, Mediterranean? Starboard. I think this is a side we can. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Remember correctly, there's going to be an outpost on two mountains, and then there's a little divot on the ground level. In between them. I guess it's gonna be on the other side. Right. Alright, so I think this one is closest. We'll just uh do a bit of a rock climbing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Not really sure why they decided to build so very high, but you know. Suppose they had their reasons. Perhaps uh, they just needed to uh, be away from each other. Grub basket. Do I have that? I don't think I grabbed a grub basket seed. 
I'll go ahead and add that to the collection. Integrating new Bart's PDA Log data. Three. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. Nope. Nope, we are not reading these out of order. All right, so we got Bart's Log 1. I might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Hell yeah. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But Oof. I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. Mm, he says understanding fish. is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Quab snake. Quab snake. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build hmm. equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, okay. well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I All told right. her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, yeah. her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed on, uh, with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. Fucking on the one hand, put that on is the coolest armor. thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hell yeah. You do you, Bart. Clab stain. <laughs> Bart seems like a good lad. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Damn, now months? I'm back here. Oh, that's rough. <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. Uh oh. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Uh, well, something happened down there. Did I miss something? Two meters below, and you want to go deeper. Okay, so there is a deeper one. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's... 
switch off. Uh, we don't need wow pipe. Um, we really don't even need stargate because we're kind of just going straight to C lab. Um, hmm. I kind of need it to be daylight. Because, like, I figure maybe I should build a second base over here. Because it'd be a completely different area to be scanning. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's down the bottom of Stargate 2. Because maybe if it has, like, complementary resources, it would be worthwhile. I think I've scanned these. I think I've swum, swum deep enough. It's a hoop fish. We swam too deep. That is uranium. Okay. Interesting. So, is this also an entrance to... Hmm. Have I scanned you? I have. Membrane tree. Yeah. Alright, so let's keep going down. See how deep this rabbit hole goes, Kip. Uh huh. Where there are warpers, there's an alien facility. Now I know there was a couple of corrupted entries, but I think there might be like other facilities we can find, maybe. Oh. oh, there is a volcanic thing. Ah, uh, that looks like a dead end. Yeah. Alright, so maybe not that volcanic. This direction is towards Sea Lab. Um. A titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Ah, fuck! Gotta avoid the warpers! Shit! Alright, we're getting to the Brine Sea. Alright, so this area does connect. Interesting. Uh, all right, that was the thermal plant. Water filtration. Cool. That probably want to build that. Um. Hmm. The fuck is down here? Ooh. Ooh, we got another skeleton, baby. Ah, what is that fucking... The squids! Uh, let's see if this is, like, an upper area. I think it is. Yeah! Another skeleton, baby! This one has three eyes. Interesting. Ancient fossilized skeleton. Million years old. Armored carnivore. Larger than anything encountered on this planet. 
So that's during its uh, dinosaur era, I suppose. Fuck off, crab squids. Ooh, do I? Mmm, fuck me, man. Come on. Let me in! Let oh. That is a different color. Um, interesting. How the fuck do we make orange ones? Maybe it's something we'll get at the second facility, and then we'll have to come back up to find this place. Um, actually, hold on. Uh, um, let me rename the beacon. All right, so I can refine that later. Hey, Topo Potato, welcome on by. Uh, and we can turn that beacon off for now, just so it doesn't clutter our base up. Um, actually, can I, can I just change these colors? Do that. Because I can. I I broke out of my aquarium, but I am now covered in kelp and uh, and moss. <laughs> they stuck to me. I can't get rid of them. I've become one with the sea. Ooh, ooh, we got a radio message. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Current scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Ooh. Is that another skeleton, baby? Ow. Thirsty. Like that? Mmm, don't like that. Mmm. Mmm, don't like it. Fuck. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Fuck to get out here. Mmm, don't like the sound of that. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, fuck! Shit! Fuck me, fuck me, fuck, 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 fuck. Evasive maneuvers! Evasive maneuvers! I didn't think it was actually right behind me. Is it gone? Alright. You're too slow. But it's, don't. Just don't speed up. Hey, Aglar. Welcome on by. I hope you are doing well. I scan these ribs. Cause this would be a big Leviathan. 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 All right. Um. Um. Where else? Where else to look? What's over here? And uh, they are not kidding about this being an extensive cave system. Oh, is this going to take me to the Starry Sky exit again? I feel like this is the path to the Starry Sky. No, this looks different. Mm. 
fucking love driving through a school of fish. Oh, fuck! Fucking warpers! Come on, dude! Fucking sniping me with a teleport like that? Rude. Alright, um... Go down here. I'm not seeing a way down, so maybe it's just an up area. Nope, that looks like a ceiling. And I'm turned around. Uh, well, I see blood vine. Maybe I can go up and I'm just crazy? No? No, this definitely seems like a cavern that I can't go up. <laughs> those, uh, the stalactites are, uh, a little bit silly. Okay, um, where else? What's this? Close to Stargate 2. Uh, ooh. I see broken machinery. Hmm? Hmm? Something to scan. Nuclear reactor! Oh! Oh! We couldn't build that! Now we can, baby. Time to build nuclear devices. Hey! Hey! Got that shit out! Wait, did I see a... Gabe's Feather. Interesting. Alright, okay. Alright. Go away, zappy boy! Oh. Did we get a second radio station? A second radio call has struck the, the thing for me to pick up. Uh, that's to Stargate 2. Uh, where is C Lab? So we can just head to C Lab this way? No? We gotta go up some more before we can go to C Lab, I guess. This is an interesting location. kind of suddenly able to drop down into the earth. The e earth as one could say it. Hmm. We need to find more wrecks. We do need to get the rest of those blueprints. Oh, fuck. I feel like, ooh, there's a vent here. It's a venti. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna save. Ooh. Got a ship of some flavor. I'll drink when I wanna. Uh, can I not get in this ship, buddy? You just give me a piece of wreckage that I can't get into. Is that is that what we're doing now? Wow. Wow. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Ah! Hydrate. Fine. Oh boy. Is this the continental shelf? No. The 
This perspective is kind of weird because it feels like my ship is tilting. Alright, so that would be back. What the fuck's over here? It's like wide open sand. Mmm, don't like that. Mmm, no. No, I don't. Brecky does not. What are these? <laughs> what the fuck are these things? <laughs> Sea treaders? <laughs> They're like the floating leviathans, but they got leggies, so they were walking around. <laughs> they look goofy. Yeah, yeah. They're they're definitely a huge life form. Don't laugh, they're just goofy little guys. <laughs> you know what? Everything has its part in the ecosystem, you know? This is the continental shelf. Oh, I hate this. Oh. oh, I gotta see where this takes us. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this so much. Why am I doing this? We gotta see, we gotta see if there's the sea floor. How far down can we go? Warning, entering ecological dead zone. Adding report to databank. Seek fluid intake immediately. I don't like how the music is- OH FUCK! Oh no 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 those rocks. I just want to get out of here. Okay. Well, I see how they uh, pen the player in. Alright, let's repair our ship. Like what I did with the seaweed? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I got, I, I, I escaped the aquarium, but uh, I was in there too long. The, the seaweeds have uh, attached themselves to me. I found the pretty... I found the pretty horrifying is what I found. Okay. So I think our only out right now... is maybe those other things we can build. Obviously, I haven't done an amazing job of finding all the bits and bobs and pieces. We still can't make thermal reactors, like even some basic stuff. Since I made one base over by SG-1, I think SG-2 should be where I make my second one. Just because that should give me more total coverage. Have I scanned a Fuck no have I scanned a Leviathan! You fucking kidding me? I am too busy booking it! What? Tree mushroom? Oh hell yeah! Alright, baby, we found some mushrooms. I am now in business. Now, my my only response to the Leviathans has been 
screaming and crying and maybe peeing myself a little bit. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna do, unless I get like a, a sniper rifle scanner. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Let's return to the sea lab and shovel a bunch of, I actually might die. I will die. Um, Drecky, you can get some hydration from fish? <laughs> or you can just die. Now we have to swim all the way out to our fucking ship. Okay, dude. Oh! Very well then. I see how it is. Told me to. <laughs> Damn it, Hagler! You're right. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have water bottles in my inventory. I really should just have some emergency water bottles in the manta ray. I do. Uh, it's like it's not like I don't have the storage space. It's like three storage compartments in a depth module. You don't know that. It could be a freshwater ocean world. I'm just maybe really picky about the water I drink. <laughs> Alright. Oh, foolish, foolish fool. The foolish, foolish directy. But hey, Lupus. I don't know if I said hi, but welcome on by. Funny how I'm considering Subnautica a soothing, relaxing game to reward myself at the end of a week. Just don't mind the screams. <laughs> All right, we're back in the mushroom forest. Now we just need to get to our ship. It's a good game though. Yeah, it has been white. Fun. A lot more fun than I thought it Welcome was going to be. I certainly like how they do the tech progression. It's felt a, like a pretty sensible curve so far. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now um, other than try and finish those other I mean I, I still need to explore more of the brine sea to be honest but I think hmm let me maybe get materials for building a second base put them in the ship and then we will go through the brine sea and eventually like Take a long way out to SG2, basically. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh right, there's the radio radio uh we gotta radio messages we gotta get. Let me put those in there. <laughs> yep, yep, loud and clear. Gotcha. 
Uh huh. Totally. Yeah, man. I hate. I hate when they do that. Must be an AM channel. <laughs> Now listening to Meta 1.2, the water channel, where all we play is water noises, water noises, and water noises. This is his, your granddaddy's water noise. Starts playing Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> okay. Um, we also have all these eggs. I should build an aquarium as well. And a nuclear reactor, just because I can. But also an aquarium. Or... Is it an aquarium? Um, where is it? It's gonna be an interior module aquarium. Um, right. And then I just put some eggs. Alright, so I can't use the big eggs. Can I use the small eggs? Cannot use the small eggs. Well, you've betrayed me, Aquarium. See you in hell, fishies! Alright, so maybe I need that alien containment? That's the only other thing I can think of. Because that looked kind of like an aquarium. But bigger. It looked like a round aquarium. But cool, another thing of the 50 billion things we need. Um, what was... Greater Edge. Two kilometer by two kilometer volcanic crater. Wow, hmm, what an oddly specific AoE. Interesting, hmm. Aw, oh, tree mushrooms are a coral! Damn it, I thought they would be a mushroom. Three million years old, damn. Oh, the silly sea trader leviathans. All right, uh-huh. And Gabe's feather. All right. I like the ghost weed, but not in uh, the briny depth. Why is that? Why do I have a blueprint? I need a I need a clear all notifications button because this drives me nuts. I swear. Fuck our reactor pod. Yeah, I guess I'd have to make fuel rods. Stretch. I don't want to stretch. Can't you see my noodly bodily? I'm already stretched out as far as possible. Oh, thank you for your head bats. Let's see. What do we want for our base? Um. Obviously, we're going to want a fabricator. Uh, might as well as build a radio. Um, and a hydrate. If you spin me hard enough, is that like a stretch? Uh, maybe. It's caused all my spines to just on out. Um, I think... We do large rooms, why not? Um, we have the moon pool now. Probably should build one on each of my bases, to be honest. Um, do I even need a large room, though? We could just have a scanner room, multi purpose room. 
And we'll need some grow beds. To ensure we can have biofuel on hand. And that's pretty much all the items for a quick base, I think. Wait, I'm missing something. Hatch. I mean, like those astronauts, they put in the spinning device and spin, 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 spin and the limbs all stretch out. For grab you by the tail and just swing you over your head a few times. Would be like that, with your bones <laughs> stretched out. You'll be testing, prepping some things on your end so you can only like that is no problem. Lurkers are perfectly fine in my book. Alright, so let's start from the top. So we're gonna need uh no magnetite. Coral, two table coral, lead, two lead, don't need any lithium or salt, we're going to need one copper, two, three copper, we're going to need two gold, we're going to need two ingots, We're going to need 6, 10, 12, 17 titanium. 4, 8, 12. You know what? I probably could just fill up two of these things with titanium. Yeah, I think I'll just fill two of the storage containers with titanium. Just in case. Uh, it should be enough. Uh, we do need to bring a lan a couple lantern seeds, however, so maybe not. Let's not go too crazy. We can always find more titanium, to be honest. Ooh, we got another radio signal. You die in this game? Uh, yes. I have died a couple times. Usually I'd save scummed and just reloaded because I didn't want to lose my progress. But just a little bit ago, I died, and I just said, fuck it, and swam back. Um, I think you kind of lose items that are in your inventory, potentially. But I didn't seem to lose anything important, so I was just... I just continued. There's probably a... Uh, all, all these kinds of games definitely have, like, a hardcore mode where dying is permanent. It would assume. Um... Did I? I did not mess with the scanner. All right. Um, range upgrade. Does this stack? Three hundred meters. Four hundred meters. They stack. Cool. All right. So three of those, and then the one where it implants it right into my brain. Uh. uh oh. 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 I'm dumb. Aha! So I can get four range upgrades! Alright, we'll take those, because our, our main goal is we need to do a bunch of scanning. I mean, this is, uh, 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 I mean, I just assume just from, like, you know, Terraria and Minecraft, I think, have, like, their hardcore modes, where your death is permanent, so I just kind of assume it also can be permanent here uh, in this game. Um, so I want to bring some lantern fruit to populate the bedding. Um, 
I didn't grab any lubricant. Where did I put lubricant? Oh, you know what? It's up in um, our this base. This is Life Pod Two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll is have it? to swim for the surface, but That's it's the one I've already been to. Straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying lubricant. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just uh we'll just we'll just go harvest and manufacture some more lubricant. You know, you gotta make sure everything uh is sliding quite well in the ocean. You know, you don't want any of your uh metal devices shearing off because uh they can't grind against each other. You know, you gotta watch out for that friction. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll stop. Also, let me turn off those fucking cameras. Um, I definitely am surprised how much I've enjoyed this game. Because usually very wide open games I bounce off of. I was like, I can't, I can never get into Minecraft because, well, the art's off-putting to me, but also uh, it's too open world. I need, like, actual I need like a plot line or a, a series of progression that makes sense to me to work on. Terraria had that. It made a lot of sense of like, you know, you do all this and next is going to be this and then next is going to be this. Um, this game feels a lot more in the Terraria realm in that it's open world. You can do what whatever the fuck you want. But there is sort of a pretty defined progression that I can pull the thread of. Um, even if I flounder a little bit because I am a potato <laughs> and apparently sequence breaking by going to places that I wasn't supposed to be able to go to yet. 